What's up my beautiful people? I'm Sarah Slay and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about BoxyCharm. I got my BoxyCharm in the mail yesterday, so now I just wanna do an unboxing for you guys and try on the products, tell you how I feel about them. I did already open the box, just so I knew what to not put on my face for this video. But uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm is a subscription box that you get monthly and you pay one fee every month of $21 a month and you get four to five full-size products and sometimes they throw in like a travel size product, which is pretty cool. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my tutorials or reviews. And yeah, let's just jump right into this BoxyCharm. So first, BoxyCharm comes in a little box like this, super cute, opens up and your products all here. Comes with a little card, all of the boxes come with a little card. And the theme is sweater weather. On the back of the card it says all the products and what they retail, real tell. And what they retail for, why can't I say retail? And what they retail for, so I'll be letting you guys know throughout the video. The first product that's in my boxy charm is this lip mask. It says KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Mask. So I used this this morning and I feel like my lips have already gone down since I used it, but it does say to use it two to three times per week. I, I have some pictures, I will link them right here in the video. I took a before and after picture and I did feel like it did do something, mostly to my bottom lip. I think if I keep using the product, then I'll probably see a better outcome. But um, yeah, this, I got three in the box, by the way. And it said this $15, so pretty much $5 per mask. The next item I see in the box is this quad eye travel set. Um, I did watch the spoilers for these, so I already know. It's some brushes. There's four brushes. One thing that kind of disappointed me, though, is that they're so tiny. I think this is like the travel item that they throw in the box, so. Um, it comes with four brushes. One is the, they just have numbers. So the 227T, 221T, 207T, and 213T. And it looks like this is probably for under the eye. It's a flat brush. This one's like an angled fluffy brush. And this other one is like a, it's flat, but it's also fluffy. So maybe a packer brush. And then this one's also fluffy. That also seems like a packer brush. I'm not really sure what the difference is in these. Maybe this one's to blend and this one's to pack. I don't know, we'll see. And they are $32. Honestly, I think that's pretty ridiculous for half of a brush. Like, I need the length. But I am going to be using those because there's a palette in this month's box. And this is kind of small too. I thought that was weird that it's so small. Maybe it just looks small in person. I don't know. It's by Winky Lux and it's called the Kitten Palette. And it looks like they partnered with BoxyCharm because it does say BoxyCharm on it. <laughs> and I did play in it earlier. I just kind of swatched them. Oh, and there's no mirror outside. But there you go. Oh, focus camera, focus. We'll see what I come up with with this. To me, it's a little random. And there's a lot of shimmers. There's one, two, three, four, five shimmers and four mattes. So we'll see what I can come up with. And I'm going to try that out right now. So I have already primed my eyes prior to the video because I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. You know what, no I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use one of my own brushes just because it doesn't come with a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to use this to set my eyes. I'm going to take this white looking one in the middle here. For my transition shade, I'm gonna go in with this brown color at the top. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush, the 227T. I hope this works out. These are like weird brushes to me for some reason. They're just like oddly shaped. There's a lot of fallout. When I swatched them though, they are pretty creamy. I thought it wasn't very pigmented, but you can build up the color. Now I'm going to take the 213T, another fluffy brush, and I'm going to use this dark brown, and I'm going to pack this on my outer corner and then bring it in my crease. You know, I don't think I like this palette very much. It just seems very patchy and has a lot of fallout, so I don't think I dig it too much. I'm gonna make it work. I remember when I was swatching this though that I didn't like the mask, but I liked the shimmers. Let's see if the shimmers are any better. I didn't think about it, but it could be the brushes too. I'm not really digging the brushes very much either. Since there isn't really a blending brush, I'm just gonna take one of mine and blend this out really quick. It's really patchy, guys. I'm trying to stick with their brushes, so I'm going to take the same brush just on the opposite side, and I'm going to take this gold shimmer here, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. Let's hope this works out. That's pretty nice. These mattes though, like they're killing me. They're real killing me right now. This palette's not for me. This shimmer is not bad though, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty good, the shimmer. A shit ton of fallout, but careful. I'm gonna go back in with that transition shade over here and just put that under my lower lash line and then take the dark brown one and put it on my outer corner. And I'm using the 221T. 
All right, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my eyes and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. The eyeshadow product actually retails for $25. Let's move on to the next product because that took me super long. The next product in the box is a lipstick. This is Laka and Co. and the name of the product is Cloud Lips. It retails for $17. This is an airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage but feels as light as a cloud. Let's see. Oh, I got the red one. I saw that you could get like a, I think it was like a dark purple color, but I wanted the red. I wanted to see how it would look on me. So I'm actually going to line my lips first and then pop this bad boy on. I look really silly right now. That's because I wanted to leave some space for you guys to see just the lipstick without the liner underneath it. So now I'm going to apply this bad boy. It's kind of pinkish. It's a really pretty color actually. It's not as red as I thought. I thought it was like a really like candy apple red, but it's actually more of like a hot pink or like a red pink, but I really like it. I think it's pretty, it's cute. It probably doesn't go so well with this eye makeup. The last item in the box, I was really excited to hear about this being in the box because it's Cover FX of course, and that's a really well-known brand and a highly sought after brand. So this is the Illuminating Setting Spray and it retails for $31. This is full size, so I'm like, yes, boxy. I actually heard that you need to shake this up really well. Oh, it actually says it, shake well before you use it because I heard that there's like glitter or something in this. So Ooh, take it out of the box before you shake it. There's like a little ball in it. Okay, I think that's enough shaking as I shake it some more. I'm just going to spray this all over and see if I look more illuminated. The mist is pretty great, but... It says to hold the bottle eight to 10 inches away, but I feel like when I was spraying it super far away, I wasn't getting anything on my face. So that's why I'm spraying it super close. I feel like it, it is really illuminating. But all right, you guys, that is it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite product was. If you didn't enjoy the products in this month's box, don't fret because I honestly love boxy i don't think i was a big fan of this month's box but they're great so i'm going to keep the subscription of course and i will make another video next month that is it for my boxy charm unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and i will catch you guys in my next video bye